Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Today, we're gonna to be checking out a new flagship mirrorless camera from Olympus, that's the EM1 Mark II. Olympus has just announced that it will be out the second week of December, so just in time for Christmas. Now this is gonna be a bit of a first look video. I've had a hands-on with the camera. I've got some sample photos and videos that I've shot to show you. We'll take a look at the specs. I will have a more in-depth uh, video later in the month as we approach the release date with a bit more information. They're really putting this camera as a competitor to super high pro-end DSLRs like the Canon 1DX Mark II and Nikon D5. So really high-end cameras that traditionally have been completely dominated by DSLRs. This is the first time we've really seen a mirrorless camera really geared toward that exact market. It has some pretty impressive technical specs uh, to, to do this. Uh, we'll see how it stacks up. Um, but first, before we get into all that, let's take a look at the physical design of the body. So the physical design of the body is fairly similar to the original EM1. It's obviously a weather sealed camera. They have added a couple new important features though. They've got a fully articulating LCD screen now, which is nice. They've improved the viewfinder. It's uh, the same resolution, but it has a 120 frames per second refresh rate and a lower latency. Um, the hand grip has been improved a little bit. It feels a little bit better. Uh, the battery is completely new. It does not take the same battery as the EM1. This new battery is a little bit physically larger and it has a 37% higher capacity. So longer shooting times. It also has a faster recharge rate. Now, an important feature, they've got dual SD card slots now in this camera. And one of them is UHS-2. The other one is UHS-1. We've got a bunch of ports on the side here. They've given us a, a headphone jack in the body of the camera. Previously with the OMD uh, cameras, you needed to get the battery grip in order to get a headphone jack. Now we've got it right built into the camera, which is good, again, for movie making especially, which we will touch on. And on the mode dial at the top here, they've given us a C1, C2, C3 custom settings uh, so we can customize our settings and switch them really quickly. And when we're talking about the physicality of the body, I would be amiss not to mention that obviously being a mirrorless camera, it is a small and light body. Uh, it weighs, the body itself weighs less than half a kilogram. It's obviously quite small. So when we're again comparing this to something like a 1DX Mark II or D5, uh, which is what it's intended to go against, the size factor here is pretty significant. It's, it's a lot smaller, a lot more mobile of a camera. Um, which is a, a pretty nice factor to have. I should mention that all the sample images in this video were shot with the 12 to 100 millimeter f4 Pro lens, which is a new lens that Olympus is releasing shortly. It's a really good combo with the EM1. The range is obviously is excellent. Also really syncs well because it has built-in image stabilization in the lens. It's one of only two Olympus lenses to have that. Uh, and that syncs with the in-body image stabilization on the EM1 Mark II. We'll touch on that in just a sec, but uh, I really like shooting with that lens on this body. Also pictured here is the FL900 flash. This is a new pro level flash that Olympus is putting out uh, at the same time that they're putting out the EM1 Mark II. And I've got the battery grip on here, you can see as well. So you can kit up this camera quite a bit if you want, or you can get rid of all that stuff and, and you know basically have the small compact size benefit. Okay, let's talk about some of the under the hood specs now, and there's quite a bit to go through here. First is the sensor, it's a 20 megapixel sensor, so they've bumped that up. Like most newer uh, micro four thirds cameras, we're starting to see 20 megapixel sensors. That's really good because it puts it in a same kind of resolution range as most DSLRs. If we wanna have a more professional level camera, we wanna start seeing that in the micro four thirds sensors, and we've got that in the EM1 Mark II here. Now obviously that's an image stabilized sensor. It's got Olympus's in-body image stabilization. Now that's not a new feature. All of their cameras have this, but it's worth pointing out that this is just a really important feature. I have an EM5 Mark II that I bought almost exclusively for that in-body image stabilization. It's really effective. It's up to 5.5 stops now on the EM1 Mark II. So really, really useful for shooting in low light, handheld shooting, uh, video shooting, really, really good for. Uh, so. Again, not a new feature, but definitely don't underestimate the usefulness of it. Now we've also got a new image processor, Olympus's TruePic 8. Now this is gonna help in a lot of areas, but one of the biggest areas you're gonna notice it is autofocus. And this is one of the primary main headline features of the EM1 Mark II, especially considering they're getting for that pro market. The autofocus is greatly improved. It's really, really fast. So we now have 121 all cross type autofocus points that cover 66% of the frame. So a very good grouping of autofocus points. You can change the way they behave, obviously, in a lot of different ways for tracking or zone or group or individual point, whatever. Um, but a very huge improvement in autofocus. Also with continuous autofocus, it's very, very good. This is something that is obviously necessary for any camera that's trying to get itself into a pro level category. 
and they've really put a lot of attention here. The autofocus is super, super fast, very responsive, very accurate as well. Uh, I don't think I had any issue, like there was no point when I was shooting anything that the autofocus was not right on in my, uh, my time with this camera. So it's really, really a big improvement here. One of the main features in this new camera. And to improve on that slightly even, you can set uh, focus ranges in camera, which can limit the focus from hunting beyond a certain range or, or closer than a certain range, which minimizes, minimizes focus hunting, which again, improves the speed of the autofocus. Now tying into this fast autofocus performance is the burst shooting modes. And frankly, Olympus has gone crazy with this. Um, the camera can shoot 18 frames per second with autofocus and auto exposure tracking, which is super, super fast. And then if you've got auto exposure or autofocus lock, it can shoot 60 frames per second, which is an insane number of shots. Now, both of those numbers are with the electronic shutter. It's a little bit lower when using the mechanical shutter, but it's worth pointing out that using the electronic shutter, it's not like shooting video and taking video stills or anything. It's full raw images, 60 frames per second raw, which is just an insane speed. Um, so if you're trying to get anything with fast movement, sports, action, this is really gonna let you do that really, really well. I was blown away by how fast that really ends up being. Now in comparison to the 1DX or the D5 that this is kind of positioned against, the, D, the 1DX can do a max of 16 frames per second and the D5 can do 12. So we do have significantly higher shooting speeds on the EM1 Mark II than these other pro-level DSLRs, which is an impressive technical feature. Another new feature that they've added in here is pro capture mode. What this does is when you're holding down the shutter button halfway, it starts taking photos and it will retain the last 14 photos that it takes. So if you're waiting for something to happen but you don't know exactly when it's gonna happen, you can point at the camera, start that pro capture mode, have it shooting. When it actually does happen, you press the shutter button, it will take the last 14 shots that you took and save them so you don't have to be exactly perfectly on time with pressing the shutter button. Now looking at video, this is a 4K capable camera and it shoots 4K at up to 237 megabits per second. That's a very competitive uh, resolution compared to other 4K capable cameras on the market. So very high quality 4K. I found it looked really, really good. There is a flat picture profile which is intended for color grading. Now an area where I think Olympus excels in video is because of their in-body image stabilization. I mentioned at the beginning that I have an EM5 Mark II that I bought primarily for the stabilization, which I primarily bought to use for video. Now having the EM1 Mark II, having that stabilization, but also being able to shoot 4K video at 237 megabits per second is pretty cool, especially when you pair it with the 12 to 100 millimeter, which has that sync eye image stabilization in the lens, which syncs with the body, giving you six and a half stops. Check out this shot here. I'm just walking and holding the camera, no support gear at all. It's almost like I have a steady cam. It's a bit of an exaggeration, obviously, but, but that's very, very steady. For, for just walking with no support gear. So I'm really excited to test this out a little bit more, see what can be done uh, with the 4K video paired with image stabilization in the EM1 Mark II. That's gonna be a really cool feature. It can also shoot 1080p at uh, 60 frames per second, so we can get 60 frames per second slow-mo at full HD. So I think this is a really impressive camera so far from what I've seen. Uh, you know, clearly they've given it some thought as to what features need to go into a high-end pro-level camera, and they've backed it up with some pretty impressive technical specs. Uh, so we see significant improvements in autofocus, uh, high-speed shooting, video shooting. Uh, when you combine that with the established, you know, Olympus's in-body image stabilization technology and then the, just the small size and portability of Micro Four Thirds cameras, I think it makes a really, really cool camera. I think it's the first non-DSLR camera that actually can start to challenge some of these, you know, Canon e, uh, 1DX Mark IIs or Nikon D5s in terms of their pro-level market. Now, even if you already shoot with one of these larger format systems, one option would be to have an EM1 Mark II as a second system, considering how, relatively speaking, inexpensive the EM1 Mark II is compared to these larger systems and how small and mobile it is, it would be a good second option for a more mobile uh, kind of run and gun camera compared to the larger systems. In any case, I'm definitely excited to see more. Like I said, we will have a bit, another video for you later in the month with a bit more information. Uh, in the meantime, you can order the uh, EM1 Mark II on our website at digidirect.com.au or you can come to one of our stores, chat to some of our staff about it. We've got stores in the Sydney CBD, Bondi Junction, Miranda, Chatswood, the Brisbane and Melbourne CBDs and a new one in uh, Cannington, Western Australia, just outside of Perth. Take care, guys.